Hey, what's up, everybody? My name is Trophinet, and welcome back to Bioshock and their Let's Replay series. And uh, Atlas is still mourning his dead family. I came to this place to build the impossible. You came to rob what you could never build. A hum, gaping at the gates of Rome. Even the air you breathe is sponged from my account. Well, breathe deep, so later you might remember the taste. So, uh, yeah, okay. They're gonna keep talking, apparently. You get to the bathosphere in the Roland Hills. That'll take you straight to the devil himself. And then all debts will be paid in full. Okay, there we go. So, uh, Andrew Ryan still doesn't trust us. And Atlas is, of course, understandably, a bit pissed. But right now, we're gonna open the gates to Arcadia. Look at this place. So Arcadia is the Garden Palace of uh, Rapture, and actually more than that, it's even the place where they grow uh, more than just this weed and this grass. They actually grow crops here, and uh, that's the way they uh, got their food. Okay, that is actually weird. Huh. Because um, normally one of those two torches is out, and if you lit light one of the two, the gates open. It was one of the little puzzles in the game, but apparently they changed that for that collection. Might have been too hard. Because, well, it's actually a bit sad. As you can see also, we also got a lot of more, a lot more loot right now. A lot of weird items we can loot. The steel screw, alcohol, we found the uh, empty hypos and kerosene in uh, some of the previous crates. That actually, that's actually for a feature we're gonna come across really soon together with the, the liquid nitrogen right here. So there's a lot of stuff here. Might actually come back for some of the things here. Uh, and as you can see, most of those smugglers crate now, crates now are filled with those uh, crafting components. I'm not gonna, well, keep that from you. The, the next thing we're gonna be able to do is actually craft items and uh, those things are gonna help us with that. It's actually kind of sad. Because I actually like that, because you can even see the scorch mark on the wall that indicated that this should be on, but uh, apparently they just made it easier and just opened the gate for everyone. Okay, but w without further ado, let's enter the tea garden. Look at this place. And uh, I think we have another memory. Yeah, there we go. What are you waiting for, city? It's beautiful! So the tea garden is actually a romantic... Uh, bit of scenery for the the residents of Rapture it was actually because it's not re anymore so let's listen to this seeing ghosts because that might be interesting seems like some poor blighters have started seeing ghosts <laughs> ghosts Ryan tells me it's a side effect of this plasmid business one poor sod's memory is getting passed on to another through genetic sampling leaks Lunatics, rebellion, and now bleeding ghosts. Ain't life in Rapture grand. So, that actually allows me to explain it a bit more. Grace, is somebody there? Okay, so I'm gonna wait a bit to uh, enter right there because there's another splice over there. But, so uh, the ghosts are actually an effect of the plasmids. Hey, no, we can't help you. Let me explain. So, uh, the effect of the plasmids, because Adam guy, is used else. to... Yeah, I'm gonna fucking kill this guy first. Not that I will be able to immediately, but hey. Yeah, okay, bye. And then we hear a, a weird noise, but hey. The plasmid ghosts... So Adam is used, as you know, to uh, modify the genes. Um, there's a, a theory that the tissue and the genes of someone actually contains their memories as well. A bit of that is actually explained in Assassin's Creed. It's kind of what Assassin's Creed is based off. That you can relive your uh, the memories of your ancestors. Ah, oh, shut up. 
through uh, through your genes because it's stored in there as well. How do they get passed along, you might ask? Well, when a, a splicer dies, the little sisters are actually responsible for draining the atom out of their bodies. I never actually showed you that, but I'm going to try and show you that the next time I get the chance. And, uh, well, because of that, the atom is constantly recycled because there's a limited amount of atom. Uh, Adam is recycled out of dead bodies, which just carries that those memories of those dead people over into the next person that receives that Adam, that imbibes that Adam. That way, you sometimes get to see the memories of the dead people that you got the Adam from, which actually makes this kind of creepy. Because uh, all the people you see memories from are already dead. So we can see someone over there, and he's running away again, and there's that weird noise again. We can hear footsteps as well, indicating that something is not right. This guy is not here for our help. He doesn't need our help. I don't think we can actually go there. So let's take a look around and try to get our bearings here. And there was another shadow, but if we go back, there's nobody there. This is actually another one of those... Uh, what happened here? The water looks a bit funky. Let's take the grenade launcher and try to keep uh, a look behind us because uh, we could get jumped at any time here. So there's an opening over there as well. We can't get up there, of course, because we can't really jump really high. There's not a plasmid for that. Hey, over here. And I can't really zap that guy. Not right now, because he is actually a new type of splicer. But, this is what it's all about. So there's this strange wooden mask on the table here. And if we inspect it closer, and pick anything up, the lights go out, and suddenly there's someone behind hello. us. Yeah, hello indeed. So I'm gonna take a picture so we do more damage, but this is a Houdini splicer. And why they call that? Well, because they can actually teleport. There we go. So they can warp... God damn it. Okay, I'm gonna first check this lockbox over here. There's nothing in there. Could be, of course. But, now we need to try and kill this guy. Because Houdini splices are a real pain in the butt. Because they can constantly teleport to somewhere else. Oh, hi. I was a bit confused with the lights jumping on like that. But I think this is where we need to be. I think we can fight him here properly. And, which is even more annoying. Oh, we almost had him. God damn it. They can also throw fireballs, as you can see. And we can actually throw those fireballs back with the telekinesis as well. So uh, that's also very nice. They always have a lot of loot on their bodies to offset the amount of damage you need to do. Not that that was too much, because uh, we actually beat him in three hits. But hey, Arcadia closed another Accuvox. Today, Arcadia was closed off to all but paying customers. The man hires me to build a forest at the bottom of the ocean and then turns a walk in the woods into a luxury. Riot asked, should a farmer not be able to sell his food? Is a potter not entitled to a profit from his pots? I started to argue with the man, and then I remembered who signed my checks. The only thing worse than a hypocrite is an unemployed one. So there we have uh, the sarcastic Julie Langford, which actually, who actually uh, is the boss of this place, kind of. She, she's the creator of Arcadia, as you uh, might have deduced already. So there's an automatic hack tool in this little shack, and I think, if I'm not mistaken, yeah, we can just crawl. Well, slide this open, this crawl space open. And there's a bit more loot in here. Another Eve hypo. And then another corpse. And the lights are flickering on and off again. And as you can hear, there's another uh, splicer that just entered the building. So let's see if we can't zap her up. Can we whack her in the butt? Um, um, okay, so as you can see, the splices also, uh, the normal splices also get stronger. 
because we needed two whacks and one of them was a, a one-two punch whack so that should have killed her in one hit but apparently it didn't because we can't research lead head spices any further so that's the most damage we're gonna do right now uh i think i checked out everything downstairs because so uh this is the the upper area we could see from uh, down there because there's the a bit further on is the mask that we found so uh, as you can see there's another splicer over there i think i can actually snipe him with uh, the pistol oh no he jumped down never mind then i'm gonna take something else because as you can see there's someone over there as well did i actually hit her yeah there we go do you like the prestige so we need to be careful here, because this is actually a pretty open space. Open. Uh, but I think he jumped down, so we're actually pretty safe right now. There we go. The Tuggish Splicer, we don't... We haven't researched the Tuggish Splicer a lot just yet. That's one as well. I think there's one Splicer behind us as well. Did I never research that? Oh, apparently not. Oh, there's another, uh, hello. Oh, shit. Yeah, okay, there he is. That was completely missed. Let's take a few more pictures. And let's hack this thing. There we go. Uh, fumbled that a bit, but hey, let's hack this thing as well immediately. And there we go. Let's see if we can buy anything. We don't have that much money. And these two things also indicate the next weapon we're going to receive, which is actually the flamethrower. Uh, but I think we're pretty good on uh, items. Aside from that splicer that just entered the building. I so let's take a few more pictures. Is that enough? Let's take another one. There we go. Sport boost! In today's dangerous times, and it never hurts to be a little faster, a little quicker on the draw. Remember, you don't have to outrun the crazed splicer, just your neighbor. So uh, you move and swing the wrench faster, which could be actually really nice. But I'm gonna wait until we can buy a bit more slots. There we go. A brass tube, which we will be able to use once we uh, get to crafting items. Let's see, more stuff. Let's hack this one as well. There we go. Uh, and now I'm actually a, a bit turned around. I think we entered from... They went from over here? I think so, right? Yeah, so that's the walkway. Yeah, okay. Just needed to get my bearings a bit, so... There's a lot of stuff in this space as well, because there's not a crawl space door here, which actually moves further over there. I'm gonna open this with an auto hack. And let's check what's inside. Five anti-personnel rounds, 14 napalm, and kerosene. I'm gonna search again on that one. Doesn't work. Because that was actually pretty, pretty crappy. Sadly enough. And there's a dead kitty over here. Because yeah, for some reason that's. I think she can kill herself. Yeah, there we go. So what you see over here is actually one of the weapons we will be able to use in the future. Okay, that was not what I wanted to take. There we go. So let's take an item with uh, telekinesis, in this case a corpse, and just use that to uh, mo remove those traps. And that was less anti-personnel rounds than I would have gotten originally. So that didn't work out for me. More shotgun shells. I think I can use a few. And uh, well, this room can only be accessed from uh, this way, I think, because otherwise this door is locked. Well, not anymore, but hey. Um, then, of course, we have this room, which can be unlocked with Electra Bolt, which also houses a few more interesting tidbits of loot. First aid kit and another lockbox with a bunch of crafting components. 
there's nothing here and then another splash of course entered the room I think or it could have been downstairs as well let's see here quickly no okay it sounds like it's right over here or she's right over here uh, we could jump down but I'm not gonna do that just yet because if I'm not mistaken oh no I just checked everything out already never mind we could get down over there or we could just take the stairs like a normal person so he just missed me completely goodbye yeah okay it's it's fine dude seriously okay these assholes don't get it I'm a winner oh another splicer up there Get out of my territory. and this is the main reason why I use the fucking wrench because it does more damage than a shotgun well that is until I actually buy the uh, shotgun damage upgrade which I might do in the future there's another splicer up here somewhere Jesus Christ they keep spawning don't they Let's get the dollars. So yeah, going into this area. Of course, activates another splicer. Let's take a look around. I still have the feeling I'm missing something, but probably not. Okay, so now we're downstairs, down where the the walkway was over over there on the. Uh, you can see the walkway where we we crossed a few minutes ago. So let's see, because now we're going to get closer to the main area of Arcadia. Because this is the, the, hole, the hole we could see from the other side. Uh, so we're gonna, now going to enter Arcadia Glens. So let's check it out. Because apparently they're coming. And this actually indicates that the Houdini Splicers are in a bit of a beef with everybody else. Because they just killed that other Splicer. There we go, okay. Just want to be careful that I don't get uh, ambushed in the face. So there's a, a corpse with a lot of crafting components because right over there is a machine we haven't seen yet. And uh, there's anti-personnel rounds over here. We can hack it as well. A bit of a hard hack, but uh, what you can do at the U-Invent station is we can create items from uh, those crafting components and as always worth the trouble because we can create actually automatic hack tools as well so let's do that and now we can make a few more exploding bucks uh which i am going to do and maybe a bit of uh, anti-personnel rents as well there we go because exploding bucks we haven't been using those just yet but those can actually set things on fire and is of course for the shotgun uh, but I'm gonna go back to the camera for now just in case we come across something um, so this is, again is a sort of walkway above a lower well a little river actually which is of course a bit weird since we're under water and as you can hear there's another uh, big daddy I'm gonna take a few pictures as well because that just levels us up again photographer's eye too Everyone has a hidden weakness, but with Photographer's Eye 2, they won't stay hidden for long. Greatly increases research scores from taking pictures. We could use that, uh, but I'm not going to use that just yet, just because we don't have the tonic slots for it. And let's take another picture of the little sister as well. I think if we take a few, we can actually uh, level that up. Yeah, there we go. Another small increase to health and Eve. And let's take another one of the big daddy. Just gonna leave them be for now. Because we don't really need to anger them. Because I think something else is gonna do that. There we go. Because I think I hear gunfire. Because that splicer is uh, trying to take out the big daddy on his own. Which is actually pretty brave of that guy. 
because it's actually a pretty strong uh, Rosie again. I'm gonna let him do that. Uh, we have another Gatherer's Garden, which I'm quickly gonna check, because right now we can actually buy those other slots as well. There's an upgrade for our Electro Bolt that stuns for longer. Human Inferno is really cool. You take less damage from fire and inflict more damage when you use fire, which is something I wanna wanna buy. Uh, but the first one I'm going to buy is Plasma Tues Elas Eve, the Eve Saver tonic. So let's get that. I'm going to even swap that for Medical Expert. Um, although I like Scranger as well. So let's... I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to remove Scranger first. Um, and we're going to buy some slots when we actually kill that Big Daddy in a minute. But this time I'm not going to just head in there. I'm not going to keep away, I'm going to take pictures! Increase damage! Yes, indeed! Even so increased that I can actually kill it. Okay, so there's a camera over there, I almost triggered it by accident. Where is it? Jesus Christ, how is it checking me out? Because it's right over there, but... I think I can... No, I can't, can't jump and hack that one. Sadly. So I'm gonna take a few pictures. And then just take it out with a few uh, armor-piercing rounds. There we go. So let's swap to anti-personnel rounds and maybe we can actually find some film in the camera. No, we can't. Um, I do want to try and defeat that big daddy, but I want to have an explosive canister for that. So let's take this. There has been tremendous pressure to regulate this plasmid business. There have been side effects, blindness, insanity, death. But what use is our ideology if it is not tested? The market does not respond like an infant, shrieking at the first sign of displeasure. The market is patient, and we must be too. Okay, so a bit uh, of an economics class by uh, Andrew Ryan. Uh, oh, this is, this is tempting. This is really tempting. I think I just made him angry. Just gonna head down here. Just gonna go for Electro Bolt again. Nope. An issue. Woo! That's actually, I think it's our first big daddy we just killed in one go. That was great. So let's search him. And that's uh, a bit more cash. So let's rescue her. And if I'm not mistaken, that's again our third little sister, which uh, should give us our next bonus. So there's Tannenbaum again. Gathering dark, you light a Thank candle. you. You have saved the little ones when you might have shown your cruelty. I am sending something your way to demonstrate our thanks. Yes, indeed. So let's recharge our Eve. And uh, there's another little sister that just dropped off a teddy bear. So let's take this. 
200 Adam, the safe cracker tonic, and 12 more electric bucks. Which of course is really handy to killing those big daddies. One of Hacksmart's more popular offerings, Safecracker lets you into places that they want to keep you out of. Splice it now and get hacking. Uh, again, reduces the difficulty when hacking safes and combo locks. We uh, use automatic hack tools on safes and we try to find the codes for the combo locks, so uh, we're not going to use that. But again, another nice upgrade. So let's check it out. We have 400 Adam, so we can buy a few more things. Uh, so most important ones, I think the combat tonic slot is a really interesting one. So let's uh, try and find something we can use. Um, I think it's best that we take photographer's eye first so we can get more benefits from our research than uh, anything else. So let's do that. We could get another combat tonic slot. Um, I don't feel like we need another plasma slot right now. Even though there are a few interesting ones. I'm gonna get Human Inferno and I think that's another combat tonic. So I'm gonna buy another combat tonic slot. Uh, let's just put Static Discharge there first. But let's take Human Inferno and swap that out for Static Discharge. So now we take less damage from fire and we deal more damage when using uh, things like Incinerate. Uh, something else, Physical Tonic slot. Also gonna take that. Um, and we're gonna go for, I like Sport Boost as well. Um, I'm dialing between Scrounger and Sport Boost. Let's go with Sport Boost, I think it's gonna help us be uh, a bit more quicker, because it uh, speeds up our walking as well. Then of course, the uh, the one we've been using the most, I'm gonna upgrade that, so Electro Bolt 2. There we go, replace Electro Bolt with Electro Bolt 2. There we go. Um... Because there's a lot more, I think our fingertips are now glowing as well, which it wasn't before. I think it also uses less Eve, not that I can show you that right now, since, well, we already use less Eve because of the tonic. Um, I can hear something whistling. There's another U invent here, which I got that, those heat-seeking rockets from. I didn't even use my rockets against the Big Daddy, but uh, we're going to use that against the next one, probably. So let's hack. So... Um, I'm just gonna hold it right here for a second. This is one of those times that we can't actually finish this hack. As you can see, I'm gonna just let it go towards an overflow, overload instead of an alarm, but this is physically unsolvable, which sometimes happens. So I'm gonna just finish and try that again. Okay, second time did it. Uh, automatic hack tools again. Or we could go for any of the other ones. Um, I think I'm going to go for the automatic hack tool. And then a bit more armor piercing or auto rounds. So there we go. That's that. We invented a lot more items. Uh, I don't think I missed anything else. We could go down there. Uh, but we're going to have to go there anyway. So let's go somewhere else first. Um... Let's see, I'm trying to get my bearings here. I'm just going to go around the corner. Because, of course, I skipped a lot. But that's not uh, a problem because we're going to get head back to a lot of these areas later on. So let's head here first. Uh, there's another corpse here. I'm just going to use Stalokinesis to uh, activate the trap. And let's head down here. Because there's another uh, storage crate filled with crafting components. And there might be something under the water here as well, but I don't think so. No, okay. What, what was that? I got I got a prompt for something. Oh yeah, there's something on top of here. A pistol. Never mind. Not useful to me. You can also go the other way. I need to be careful not to use Electro Bolt here. Because that would uh, end badly. And uh, we can actually go underneath here. This, right now we're underneath the area with the big daddy. I would like Ranch Lurker as well, but we're uh, a bit low on Adam. So this is where we came from. So let's head underneath this area right now. I don't think there's anything here. We can just see these symbols, which I'm going to explain in a second as well. Because they actually have something to do with that wooden mask. We've seen already. Oh, fuck. Oh, that was actually perfect. The 
there we go. Another Houdini splices down. We uh, couldn't really use Electrobolt here, so I didn't want to take any pictures as well, because that would have ended even worse. So now, there's another one of those masks right here, as you can see, maybe slightly underneath the, the thingies. Uh, we can go further even, I think. So let's do that first. Because there's a lot of stuff in the water here. I don't think... It's really hard to find items underwater because you can't really see through that. Another very, very important quote. In the end, our choices make us. So let's hack this thing. There we go. Let's purchase a few more first aid kits because we're going to be able to use those. And, uh, well, because of the inventing of items, we now have uh, an extra motivation to search everything. Uh, I'm quickly going to check out this because this is actually pretty nice. That over there is the office of Julie Langford. And in here we can see these beautiful trees with uh, lovely flowers on top of each. Uh, so uh, we're probably going to head over there, down there. I think down there is the uh, metro station we need to head down. Over there. You can slightly see it through the trees over there. But right now I'm going to take a little break. I don't think I can look through these, no. Uh, so I'm going to take a little break. Thank you guys enormously for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, don't forget to like it right here on YouTube. And if you haven't already, don't forget to give it a thought to subscribe to my channel. Because I'd really appreciate any support you guys can give me. So thanks again enormously for watching and I hope to see you in the next video series. Goodbye.